I don't know what to do. I just got done reading the letter. And it's funny how I said in the other video I made when I first wrote the letter that I won't be reading the letter until like a long time. And that was only like two days ago. Two, three days ago. It's like 3.56 a.m. in the morning on April 2nd. No, May 2nd. I really don't know. I'm so confused. I don't know what to do. You guys ever be in a position where you're at the point of your life where you have to make a choice and that choice is going to affect the rest the rest of how your life plays out? Whether or not you want somebody to be in your life or not or whether or not you want to stay in their life. That's where I'm at right now. I'm at a crossroads. And when I wrote that letter, <clears throat> what I wanted to happen was, I wanted me and Alina to um, actually see each other. I was going to read the letter to her as a surprise. And she was going to be right next to me while I was reading it. I was going to make a video of it. That's why I, I wrote it as if I was actually in front of her. And there was another surprise too. I was going to do something that I never did before, which was, well, I had my ring, but there's another ring I have in here, which is an engagement ring. You guys don't believe me? Look at that. See that? While well, I made the video, she was gonna be right here, and then I was gonna at the at the end of the video, I was gonna be like, "Um, you you promised me you're not gonna do this no more." And we were just gonna be talking, and then I was gonna be like, "Oh, baby, I got something for you." And then she'd be like, "What is it?" I take the ring out and put it in her hair, I ask her, will you marry me? Yeah, that, that would be something to be on YouTube. That would be crazy. Yeah, I was going to propose to her. I don't know. I think, the, I think one of the hardest things about love is when you have to, you know within yourself that you you know you have to let go of the person you care so much about. Either because they don't want to be with you or they hurt you so bad you just can't deal with it or they told you to leave. Well, I'm at that part right now where I gotta decide. Because Alito was going to be my wife. I was going to, I was going to propose to her. But, you know, she's so worried about all these other girls. And I kept trying to tell her that they did not matter. And I'm only worried about you. And I told I told her that I put her number one. Because that's what she wanted. I did everything. Videos. Everything. Still did not measure up. So, what do I do? Because I feel like I'm being... I, hey. Excuse my language, but I feel like I'm being like a like a bitch. Because who would do this? Who who would do all this? And I question to myself, what should do all this for me? Because if I was the one who didn't trust her, and she lived all the way in Texas, and I said to her, I don't believe you, Alina. I don't believe nothing you say. Who's that guy you're talking to? I kept saying it, saying it, saying it. You think she would do all that stuff I did for her for me? Would she make me video? Would she propose to me? I don't know. This is a real engagement ring, too. 
So you, you hear things like this, and this makes you sad cause, because, like, love is, claim, love is claiming to be the most greatest feeling in the world, but yet it brings you the most pain. I don't understand that. she can have my child. Ask, I was going to ask her if she was going to marry me and if she can have my child. Or, I don't know. But I don't know what I'm going to do. The key phrase I like to use for this moment right, for it, is for this moment right now is what might have been. And if you don't understand that, what that means is it's, it's an unfinished statement. You can add whatever you want to it. What might have been. It's like saying, what if this would have happened? What would be the outcome? You add whatever you want to it. But I'm adding whatever I want to that statement. What might have been. What might have, what might have happened if Felina would have been my wife and she would have had a child? What might have happened? I don't know. But uh, these are, this is one of those times where you just gotta learn to let go. It's the most painful, I mean, life goes on. And, you know, I'm about to graduate, so, before spring break, none of this was going on. None of it. But, just wanna let you know that I really did love her. I really did. And there was no one else. So, Alina, if you're watching this, I don't know what she was talking about. You was number one. And apparently you didn't see that. So, I don't know. I got to think about it some more. Think about this. And I just got to so move on, I guess. I'm not going to be there for someone who is not going to let me in. That's not real love. True love doesn't worry about other people. True love really worries about one person. It's the one that you love. Me trying to make her understand that, I don't know. But just know that I was going to propose.